Hello, class. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? Pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> good. Let me. Uh, Sorry? I... No, no, I, I forgot to turn on the, my camera. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. Good to see you. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Pretty good? Um, Beatrice, how are you? Thank you. Good, good, good. Yes. And Carolina, how are you? Carolina, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good ah, evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Let me see. Nelson, how are you? Hello. I am fine. Thank you. Okay. And you? I'm pretty good. Um, how was your day today? How was your day today, Nelson? Hello, I'm sorry. How was your day today? I have it. How was your day today? Uh, I don't understand them. ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? Ah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Very good. Yeah? You had a good Very day? Very good. Oh, good. Excellent. Very good day. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Let me see who else can está aquí también. Um, Olga, how are you, Olga? Olga, are you there? Yes. Olga? Maybe there's something wrong with her connection. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay. Uh, and Ana Maria? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Welcome, Ana Maria. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah? What about you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Not bad at all. Um, okay. All right, guys. Um, let me see. Eh, creo que esos son todos los que veo. Los demás no me han hacen ese proceso de, de, de encender la camarita, por favor. Um, Okay, all right, guys, we're going to take attendance. Um, so um, please listen carefully for your name. Okay, all right. Ani, is Ani here? Ani, no? Okay, what about Ana Maria? Uh, present. All right, welcome, Ana Maria. Uh, thank you. And uh, Ka Carolina? Present. Welcome, Carolina. And Emily? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Emily. And um, Hazel? Is Hazel here? No, Hazel is not here. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Joanna? 
Is Joanna here? Joanna? No? Okay. What about Jorge? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jorge. Thank you. Um, and um, do I have Karina? Present. Welcome, Karina. And what about Carla? Is Carla here? Carla? No, no, Carla? Okay, what about uh, Kevin? Kevin? Hi, teacher. Okay, oh, welcome. Welcome, Kevin. Um, I have a question. Do you prefer to be called Kevin or Santiago? Um, I prefer Santiago. Okay, okay, welcome, Santiago. Okay, well, it's good. It's good to finally be able to meet you. I'm glad that you were able to connect today. Okay. Um, all right, uh, Linda. Linda. Not here. No. Okay. Uh, what about Marlene? Present. Okay, welcome, Marlene. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel. No. Okay. Um, what about uh, Nelson? Nelson G. Present. Okay, welcome, Nelson. And You're Norma? welcome. Norma. Norma? Present, present teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Norma. And Olga. Present teacher. All right, very good. Welcome, Olga. And um, and uh, Ros no, sorry. Um, yes, Rocio. Rocio? Oh, okay. I'm here. All right. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, and you prefer Rocio, right? More than Veronica, right? Yes, I prefer Rocio. All right. Thank you. All right, Beatrice. Present. Okay, welcome, Beatrice. And, um, and uh, Suleima Rodriguez? Present. And Tatiana? Tatiana? No? Okay. Uh, Nelson, Nelson A. Nelson A? No, okay, Omar, Omar, no, okay, Suleima, Suleima, Suleima Melgar, sorry, Suleima Melgar, no, okay, eh, and uh, Jose Rodrigo, Jose Rodrigo, okay, all right, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna mention again the names of the people that I didn't hear, just to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. Okay, so I didn't hear um, Ani. I didn't- Present teacher. Oh, okay. Welcome, Ani. Okay. I didn't hear, hear Hazel. And I didn't hear Joanna, Carla. Present teacher. Present. Did I hear two people? Yes. yes. Joanna and Carla. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you said que estoy escuchando. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's just that 
I was I was not I was not sure if I was getting confused. Um, I didn't hear Linda or Miguel. Um, I didn't hear Tatiana, Nelson A, Omar, eh, Suleima Melgar, and um, and Jose Rodrigo. Did I miss anybody? No? Okay, so, okay, so I have everybody else, right? Yes? Okay, all right. Okay, all right, girls and guys, uh, perfect. So we are going to, um, we're gonna start with our class. Um, yesterday, for, for the people that were not here, I think there were not that many people that were not here, but for the people that were not here, uh, we started looking at, um, at rather, at the use of rather, and the use of, um, oh, sorry, would rather, and the use of would prefer. Pretty much the same thing, right? Okay, would rather and would prefer. So what we're gonna do right now, well, um, first of all, you guys, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. I'm going to be sh um, sharing, please tell me when you can see it. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. yes we can. Wonderful, thank you. So um, this is, we're gonna be looking at how to use quantifiers. That's gonna be today's class. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, it's intermediate three and it's class number four. So let's start with, uh, this is a review of yesterday's class. We already explained this, but I know that some people didn't, were not here in class and other people need to review because maybe they didn't understand it very well. Um, so let's do that. I'm gonna do this very quickly because we already saw it, but um, if you want more details, you can see yesterday's video too. Okay, so uh, we use would rather to express preferences, okay? So that's the first thing you gotta make sure you understand. Would rather is a preference. It's like when you say in Spanish, yo prefer preferiría, okay? Preferiría, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, so um, now how we're gonna be working on this is this way. We're gonna be using this structure, would rather plus the base form or uh, the verb. Or we can also use the apostrophe. The apostrophe would rather. This is, this, is, uh, this is exactly the same structure. The difference between would rather and apostrophe rather is simply that we contract the would. So the apostrophe D is a contraction of wood. Okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So, no, no es nada del otro mundo. O sea, the would rather simplemente es una contracción. Como cuando ponemos I'm en vez de I am. Right? Entonces, um, the apostrophe D means wood, but it's just contracted to make it a little bit simpler. Okay? But the structure is exactly the same. Okay, so uh, we use would rather. Okay, uh, would rather, and that's independent of the su of the subject. Okay? The subject can be I, you, he, she, it, we, they. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be would rather. And after that, if you notice, so that we have here would rather, and after that, we use the base form of the verb. Okay, so right here, withdraw is the base form of the verb. Relaunch is the base form of the verb. Over here, it's the same thing, the same story, right? We have would rather. Make it small, a little bit smaller. Would rather, okay. 
Ahorita que no se mira. Okay. Would rather. And then after that, we use, sorry, sorry apostrophe, would, uh, apostrophe D, rather. And then we use the base form of the verb. It's as simple as that. Okay. So you will notice that I put apostrophe rather, apostrophe rather. And then we have the base form of the verb, withdraw, relaunch. Okay. And yesterday I gave you all of the, the subjects, right? So with I, you would say, second, with I'd, let's say, I'd rather, sorry, I just, I'm just going to put the, 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 the subject and, and the, the apostrophe. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. I'd, you'd, okay. And we have he'd and she'd, okay. And uh, we'd and they'd. Okay, so that's how it goes. But it, it's not very, it's not very common to use it with apostrophe D because the, the ending sound is a consonant sound. So it's it already. So it sounds very strange to say it, right? It doesn't sound very natural. That's why we don't do it. Whereas these ones are more, the ending is a vowel sound. So it's okay, I'd, right? You'd, he'd, she'd, we'd, they'd, right? So it's all, it's a vowel sound. So it's, it's, not, it's more natural, okay? But it's nothing, nothing, it, this is not, this is the same structure. The only difference is that we're contracting would with apostrophe D, that's it, okay? And we also saw yesterday that if we want to be, if we want to be more emphatic, if we want to uh, put more emphasis on it, we can also use apostrophe D much rather, okay? So you could say I'd much rather, okay? And all you're doing there is making a strong preference, right? But remember that it's more common in speaking, okay? It's more common in speaking, right? For example, someone went wrong with the art in the labels in the, pro in the product, um, then we would say, I'd much rather or um, higher, right? So it's the same thing, the same structure, would, uh, but contracted. So it's apostrophe D. And then we just add the word much rather, and then the verb in the base form. Green tortricas cannot complete, uh, compete with the low prices of other chips. So we use... I'd rather, okay, and over here we use lower, okay, which is the base form of the verb, okay, and here I just gave you some more examples, nothing different about it, exactly the same idea. We have, um, I would rather cook, notice, would rather, he'd rather visit London than Paris. So here we have the apostrophe, the rather. Uh, we'd rather not go to the cinema tonight, apostrophe the rather. Uh, we'd rather stay at home tonight. Here we have apostrophe the rather. I'd rather go to the cinema on Tuesday, apostrophe the rather. Okay, so it's the same thing. So, and we just put the, the verb in the base form. Cook, visit, go, stay, and go. The only one that's a little bit different is this one because if you notice, we make it negative. And so we put the not before the, the main verb. Okay, that's the difference. Any questions about that? 
Questions? Uh, it's clear, teacher. All right. So, um, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a question. In this case, uh, would is um, more common to say in than to write it. The apostrophe D, yes, it's more common to say than to write it. So it's it's more common to say to hear people say, "I'd rather," "I'd rather go," instead of saying, "I would rather." It's it's, it's I mean it's more common to say, but it's not impossible to hear it. Right? It's yeah, you can hear people say, "I'd rather," or so "I would rather," but it's more common to hear people say in speaking, "I'd rather," but in writing, it's more common to hear, "I would rather." Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Yes. So what we're going to do right now, now that we understand that we got that clear, we're going to do an exercise. So the exercise is this, we're going to order the words to create sentences, compare the, se the answers with the partner. So here we have some sentences that we're going to put in the correct order. So we're going to order these words to make a complete sentence using would, ra would rather. Okay, and for this, I'm going to put you into groups, sorry, into pairs, and so you can work with a partner. Okay. So, give me a moment. Okay, so it's clear what you guys are doing, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's open the Girls, do you have any problems getting in? Girls, do you have having problems? Carolina? Yeah. What's so? Uh, perdón, teacher. Uh, number one. Ah. Uh, uh, que se una al grupo. Ah, es que se me ha quedado trabada la, la, la máquina, ah, está teniendo ah, problemas. Asígneme, porfa, porque fíjese que se me ha quedado trabada. Gracias. Carolina. Sigo aquí, teacher. Eh, entonces tiene que salirse porque ya la asigné nuevamente, entonces significa que no le está llegando la noticia. Vaya, ahorita.
Aquí estoy ya. Ok, ahorita la asigno. Gracias. Hola Carolina. Me regresa, Ticha. Okay. Me regreso a la sesión principal. Va. Ahorita vamos a ver qué tal. Okay. Um, um, number one, um, the number one uh, is a uh, decree team goal, goal rather has to sign the manager a uh, relance of the product. Is okay, the wall? No. Second. No, the first one is uh, the manager. Uh, would rather ask the credit team to design a, a relaunch of the product. The manager. Yeah. Ah, it? okay. Sería, entonces en este caso, the manager. The manager. Mm -hmm. Joana, creo que lo, de, lo del punto no importa, porque si se fijan las otras que hicimos, el punto estaba en una que la pusimos en medio. O sea, creo que ah, no. Es que hay un ajá. punto, ¿verdad? No, pero ajá, pero no importa, creo yo. Eh, o sea, es como si al lo... final de cada oración, quizás tendría que llevarlo, que ya lo pusieron así, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Me imagino. Let's remember okay. that we practice English, so let's keep it in English. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Just, sorry. It's, it's <laughs> The idea is that you guys practice, right? So that's that's why I'm just mentioning that. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> um, okay, the second one we we are talking about that this uh, many distrib teacher. How how is the pronunciation of this word? Distributors. Distributors. Uh, okay. distributors. Distributors. Many distributors. Uh, distributors. The stress is on the second syllable. Distributors. Distributors. Yes. Okay. Uh, many distributors <laughs> uh, would rather much sell a product at a lower price. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. I think the third is. They will rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new markets, I think. Right? Yes. Yes. I agree with you. Okay. Um the four many companies will rather operate. Once the manager mm. has, has to the same Many companies mm. would rather operate as a premium option 
when the product is the decline stage. Mm. Yes. What number? Four. Four? Yes. Okay. Many companies will write it operate once the pro operate as a premium option, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Many companies que daría, eh? Yes. Many company. Mm. Companies. Go rather, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Go rather. What is the meaning of stage? Go rather operation. Mm, es ciclo. Ah. Oh. Okay. Creo. I think that it's a step. What? It's like a step. Okay. Okay, it's a step in, in a process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Many more companies will already become. But why the product has to has a, a, a product like as a premium option? No. Many distributor. 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 Yeah, the stress is on the second syllable. Distributor. 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 Okay. So many distributor is going to be the subject. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. After that. Um, many distributor will rather much. Go rather much sell or product at a low lower price. Lower price, very good. Okay, what about the next, the number three? They will rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new. Markets. Markets. Okay. I agree with you. And the four many companies will rather operate operate as a premium option. Once yeah. the product is in the decline stage. Operate. Many companies will rather operate once the product no. I guess after we rather operate will be as a premium option. Do you agree? Mm. Yes. Let me see. Many I agree. companies will rather operate once the product is in the decline stage as a premium option. Many companies will rather operate as a premium option once. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes, the product is the cleaning stage. Um, Yes. 
For you, what, what is the best option? Um, pero me estoy escribiéndole a ver si me cuadra. Um, muchas compañías preferirían me pagar sé. una vez el producto este año. Uh, pero es que no entiendo mucho porque habla ahí de que, que el producto esté en la puerta de, de declinar o de declive y después poner de que es una opción premium realmente no le dio sentido a la oración What is your question? Uh, um, the decline stage is etapa de declive o declinar, o sea que ya el producto no no está funcionando. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the, the, so it's not selling as good as it was before, or as well as it was before. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh, after we rather operate, once the product is in the decline stage as a premium option, it will be the, the correct. Or. I think it's the other way around. Okay. Many companies. It will be many companies who rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Exactly. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. 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 Thank you. Why the have to come in Hello? 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 Hi, what happened? Jorge, are you there? Jorge? Is Jorge there? I think. Jorge, are you there? Hmm. Jorge, uh, were you guys working together? Yes, but uh, he's going, going out. Oh, he's out. Out. He's out? Is that what you said? He's, he's not, he's, he hasn't come or, or what, what's going on? Hello. Hello, Jorge. What happened? Here I am. Okay. What happened to you? You disappeared on us for a moment. Maybe because for the raining. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your your house in your house is raining right now. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Okay. All right. Are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah? OK. Yeah. All right, so we can go and check. We can go to the main room and check. OK. Yes? I'm, no, I'm asking you, can we go in to, to the main room and check? Yes, we're ready. You're finished. OK, perfect. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room then. OK? okay.
the yeast or not? Mm, no, it's no. not. I don't remember how it is. Okay. I see. You already finished the chair. in the main room then. Are you girls finished? Marlene, Anna Maria, are you finished? Yes, yeah, yes, we've finished. Okay, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys in a moment then. Oh, perfect. Okay, sure. Hello. All right. So I'm. Um, I'm sorry. Carolina uh, has some problems with um, the audio. Oh. Okay. Carolina, you're having problems with the audio? He can't hear. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Okay. Um. He can't hear us. Okay, great. Um, I will start sharing and uh, we're going to check the answers. So give me a moment. Oh. Okay, please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So, yes. All right. So, okay. for this, um, just a second. Um, we're going to, I'm going to be checking, I'm going to be choosing different people. You're going to guys, you're going to give me the answers. Um, Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so we're going to choose the first one. We'll start with Carla. Carla, can you help me with the first one? Yes, teacher. Um, for me, it's the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. The manager would rather yes, ask, ask the creative team the creative team to design, design a relaunch uh, a relaunch of the product. In launch of the product. Okay. Let's see, what do you guys think about that answer? Do you agree? The manager would rather ask the um, creative team to design a relaunch of the product? Yes. Yes, yes. I agree. I agree with, with Yes. Good, I'm glad you agree because I do too. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Carla. All right, let's uh, continue with Rocio. Rocio, can you help us out with number two? Yes, I can. Uh, many distributors 
uh, World Water March sale this these three waters. I don't know how to pronounce that. Distributors. 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 Yes. Distributors. Okay. Okay. Uh, Would rather much sell a product at a lower price? Would rather much Will rather much sell our product our at a lower price? Our product at a lower price. Lower price. Yes. Uh, like this? Let's see. Like this, Rocio? Yes, yes, like this. All right, perfect. All right, what do you guys think? Do you agree with this? Yes, did you? I agree. Yes, yes? I agree. you agree? Yes. Okay, uh, good, because I agree with it too. Excellent, very good. Number three, we're gonna have um, Beatrice, help us out with number three, Beatrice, please. Yes, I do. Number three, they, they would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new market. Okay, is that your answer? Like this? My screen is moved. Yes. Yes? Okay. Do you guys agree with her answer? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, I agree with her. Yes. Because I agree with it too. Very good. Uh, excellent. Number four, we're going to have, um, let's see. Um, let's see. Um, Santiago, can you help us with number four, please? Number four. Many companies would rather operate once the product is in the decline stage as a premium option. Okay, like this? Yes. Yes? Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, what do you guys think, do you agree? Yes. Yes? Yeah? I think it's different, but I don't know. Okay. What yes, I think it's different too. For me, is many more companies would rather become the. Oh, I'm sorry. Many companies would rather <laughs> operate as a premium <laughs> option once the product is in the decline stage. For me. Yes. For me too. The best option, I think, is to put the once the product is in the decline stage at the end because that is um, an. Um, adverbial clause that um, for that tells us time. Okay, so usually we put um, adverbial clauses that tell us time at the beginning or at the end. Okay, not normally in the middle of a sentence. Okay, so we can either say once uh, the product is in the declining stage, blah, 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 or blah, 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 once the product is in the decline stage. Does that make sense? 
Yes, it has sense. It makes sense, okay. Okay, good. Um, so just keep that in mind that normally when we have um, adverbial um, clause <laughs> time, we put them either at the beginning or at the end, okay? All right. And the last one, number five, um, let's have it. Quiero ver quién no me pasó. I'm trying to. Uh, Ana Maria? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Okay, what? Um, number five. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of the Prado with the great caution about price worms. Okay, just hold on a second. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provided of the Prado with the great caution about the worms. Provider of a product with a great caution about price wars. Okay. Was this your answer? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. But I'm not sure if correct. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree with yeah, this? I agree. With I agree. agree. I agree with the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so remember, would rather and then the base form of the verb. That's the other reason why this one works best that way, because if you notice, it says many companies would rather, and then we need a verb, and the verb is operate as the premium option. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? Uh, um, after would rather, it uh, means that the uh, sentence has to have an, an verb, right? So could you repeat that question again? After would rather in the sentences has to have an verb. Yes, after would rather we need a verb. Yes. Okay. Base or the verb. Okay. All right. Um, wonderful. Um, all right. So now that we have done that, um, um, let's, we're going to go on to the next activity. Um, clear this. Okay, so the next activity is in small groups, choose a renowned, renowned uh, product or service that is saturated, that is saturating the market. Okay, so right now, think about a product that is saturating the market in this moment. We're gonna be discussing these questions. What effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? What strategies are the competitor companies applying to deal with saturation? And what other straight um, strategies would you would you recommend? Um, do we understand those questions? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions at all about these questions? No. Um, okay. Wonderful. So I'm going to then get you to work in small groups. I'm going to re remake the groups because um, we have more people in the groups. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give you about, yeah, 10 minutes. 
Okay, here we go. Actually, mm, no. I'm actually going to take attendance first because it's nine. So let me take attendance. Ani? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, it, uh, Ana Maria? Present teacher. All right, very good. Uh, Carolina? Carolina, I think she's having the, still the problems, right? Okay. Uh, Present. Okay. Um, great. Uh, Hazel? Hazel Vanessa? No, right? She's, she's not. Okay. Uh, Joanna? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Jorge? Present teacher. Excellent. Karina? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Car Carla? Present teacher. Okay, Kevin? Kevin? Sorry, Santiago, sorry, Santiago. No? Okay. Uh, ah, there he is. Uh, Linda? Linda? Okay, uh, Marlene? Okay, um, Miguel? Miguel? Present. Okay. Miguel? Ah, per, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <¿Qué raro ser? laughs> I'm sorry, miss. It's okay. Okay. Nelson, Nelson G. I'm sorry. Uh, present. All right, good. Um, uh, Norma? Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Olga? Present, teacher. Uh, Rocio? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Rosa? Present. Good. Present. Good. Suleima Rodriguez? Um, Okay, um, uh, Tatiana, Nelson A, uh, Omar, Suleima Melgar, Jose Rodrigo. Presentation. Okay. Uh, okay. You told me that you prefer Rodrigo, right? Yes, Rodrigo. That's fine. Sorry? Fine. Uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Or whichever one. Uh, Rodrigo is okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys, um, so now that we've taken attendance, I'm going to put you in groups right now. Teacher, me mencionó. Me mencioné, pero no me contestó. Es que me estaba pasando la computadora, por eso. Ah, creo. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Great, thank you, Marlene. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yo tengo ah. con el audio. Yes, I know, I know. I don't worry. I I know. It's okay. Thank you. All right. I see. We're going to put you guys into the groups and you discuss the questions. Okay. Here we go.
¿Qué pasó? No. No, eso sí, no, no, no pueden entrar. José Rodrigo, Rocío, Marlene, Rocío, no puede entrar. Rocío. Puse mejorar la calidad. Uh, yes, for yes because of the competition. Yes, Sorry. there are many competitors. I think that if, if we they have are a lot of competitors. So, I think that if the product has to lower prices, we'll have to sacrifice uh, a little quality. Sacrifice? Yes. Well, the companies try to, to improve their quality to people choose the, your product. But if we are focused on the price, uh, I think that the company have to sacrifice some quality for the product to survive between the, the competitors. I think, I don't know. It's, it's a possible. Or for example, and sometimes you don't have to sacrifice quality, only low prices to, to win more clients or customers. Decrease your income. Yes. Sound, sounds good. Okay, the second one is what strategies are the competitors company companies applying to deal with saturation? Soy yo, se están comunicando en, en um, telepáticamente o qué pasa? No, teacher. <risa> no, teacher, aquí estamos. Ah, pues sí, se están comunicando telepáticamente. No, teacher. ¿Y qué pasa entonces? No problema con el audio, dice yo. No le escucho. Cortado le escucho. Ah, ok. Pero el audio completamente la decisión. Ah, ok, ok. No, no hay lluvia, creo. Lluvia. El sonido, creo que es voy a cambiar el audio. Ah, okay. Bueno, okay. So, got, um, class of the Uh, work together and um, complete it 
like the questions. And what you can do, Rodrigo, is um, you can uh, write your answers in the chat. Oh, great. So just start talking, guys, guys and girls. Hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about a product, so that is why I am not talking. Okay, but think together then. <laughs> okay. Um, it's teacher, only oh, yeah, I have a question. And the margin saturation is when a probe has more offer than demand, or no? No, it means um, product saturation means that, um, like, literally think about um, saturating something, right? It means too much. Mm -hmm. If there's too much of something of a certain product, mm -hmm. right? Um, so um, um, like to give you an example, um, pupusas is a saturated mm -hmm. product, right? I mean, like everybody, there, there's pupuserias everywhere, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, that kind of thing. Okay. Thank okay. Mm -hmm. Then the saturation is more proud. Mm. And more or less price. I understand that. Could be yes. is the separation is I use them for a increment the total part for sale. I think about this. Hmm. But I think is that is not good for for a company because they produce more more product that that the they can sell, I think. I think is that, <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe this. Yeah. I don't know what could be a example. What are you guys having problems with? Um, well, we don't, we don't know uh, what example could be for, for this. 
So the question says here, the question is, um, so what is a renowned product or service that is, that is saturated in the market? Um, so I give an example, but um, like pupusas, right? Okay. Um, so that's a product that is saturated in the market right now. Let's just take that as an example. So the first question is, what effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? Well, think about it. Since there's so much, so, so many pupusas out there, so many um, pupuserias, then what happens? Well, basically, um, what happens with the price? Well, it makes it competitive, right? So you have like uh, in the same region, you will find that pupusas are pretty much the same price, right? If you have a, if you have like many pupuserias in a place, most of them have the same price, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, because there's so much saturation. So they, they, it doesn't make sense that one pupuseria has a very high price and the other pupuseria doesn't and has like a very cheap price because then what's going to happen is that people are not going to go to the one that sells it the, the 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 most expensive they will go to the ones that is cheaper right but then what happens with the quality yeah right the quality not is good yeah exactly so those kind of things you got to think about that that's that those are the this is what the discussion is about okay Okay. Okay. So, um, for example, could be cell phones, but not in price. Um, you know, in, in the I don't know the level of technology. For example, uh, the old attendance super. Can use the strategies for focus on providing this customer service. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> Many people do that, don't do that. I think yes, that yes. is. Yes. Or maybe. I think it's a good recommendation. Mm -hmm. uh, customer server, pues. Yes. Or maybe on the focus on the big clean up place. That something happens in some places. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. Hola, encontré algunas. Go through your ex existing marketing plan. Uh, perform marketing research. Develop value propo proposition. Set marketing goals. Uh, review. Uh, Review are uh, resources in marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, no, perdón. Define, define marketing strategies. Define marketing mix. Uh, marketing plan. Y review a uh, resources. Es como un plan. Este es como un plan de estrategia de mercado. De una a una. Como pasos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como pasos. And the plan. The marketing, okay. So, so the recommendation is create a, a plan of marketing mix and they can have a, a order with the, the promotions and uh, uh, designs and I don't know or all, all of that kind of things that contribute 
sobre el marketing mix. Eh, this is for the... ¿Ah? Yes. Ah. Let me, let me write it. Mr. Jackie, I don't know if you can see Marketing mix has a strategy on product service um promotion. What else? I don't remember my marketing lessons. Les quería mostrar el 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 plan ese ya lo lo tengo acá en la imagen pero eh, lo que pasa es que no se puede compartir. Me dice que la filtró inhabilitó la función de compartir. Lo que les quería enseñar el eh, este este que encontré yo figuritas ¿verdad? ahorita that is what works for them what marketing is that they use you can you can go ahead and share Ya podemos Está cargando. Está No. No. No, it's loading, but we can see. It says Carolina has a stutter screen shape. Ha sido mi día, chico. Nada me ha salido bien. No carga. No te preocupes, Carolina. Es ok. Things like that happen. We just have to be patient. No, yet. 
and if you send the link, can be available. Yes, there. Ahora sí, marketing strategy. Yes. Go through your existing marketing plan. Perform marketing research. All of value position. Set marketing goals. Uh, uh, set marketing goals. Yes, loud. Oh my God, what the name is that? <laughs> I just speak with. I know me if it's correct, but I I have uh, this answer. Uh, the companies often often downgrade the quality of their products to improve the price in order to survive the competition, right? This is the main the main idea. Could you, repeat, could you repeat again? I can understand there. Uh, yes. I try to yeah. write. I try to write. Um, but I think uh, this is the the order. Um, or the answer for the first question. Um, yes. Companies often downgrade the quality of their uh, products can... um, to improve the price in order to survive the competition, right? Yes. What's the name? The first. Means, uh, company of Fendral Gray. To call it. Oh. Change the price in order to survive the competition, right? In, a, in a Spanish, uh, what are the uh, name? Company, um, company. Como las empresas suelen bajar la calidad um, de los productos para mejorar el precio con el fin de sobrevivir a la competencia. This is the, the idea in Spanish, right? Yes, yeah. so now in, yeah. in English. <laughs> <laughs> in English, companies have been drawn great the quality of their products to improve the price in order to survive the competition, right? I don't know if it's correct. That's for good. me yeah that's good. <laughs> it's good i think um, i try to i think i try to write the, this we say the, what is the second one the strategy oh, yes. Yes. are the company or to ah, are the competi competitor is correct teacher Competitors. Yes, competitors. Competitors. Companies applying to deal with saturation. Um,
All right. All right, class. So we were able to finish that. So um, let's talk about it. Um, can you tell me if you can see it? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, great. Yes, teacher. All right, so what effects, so, okay, first of all, in general, what effects does market saturation uh, have in the price and quality of a product? What happens when there's, there's a market saturation? In, in my opinion, teacher, the, uh, I think decrease, decrease the, the price because the, the many options that the, the people can, can choose. Uh -huh. So what happens to the price? So what happens to the price and quality? Uh, the decrease the price and maybe the companies improve the quality of the okay. product. Sometimes it can make the, 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 the improve the quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. What strategies are the competitor companies applying to deal with saturation? Maybe um, better features in a low cost. I think. Okay, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they, they maybe they lower the cost. What else? We can say teacher to become appeal the product or to make appeal. Appealing, to make appealing or yeah, to, to make, make appealing. Yeah. Make the product appealing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they re uh um, they innovate uh, uh they re-innovate the product to make it appealing mm -hmm. what else anything else they use a diversification strategy they use what a diversification strategy diversity strategy okay all right good what other strategies would you recommend? Increase promotions uh, through social networks, for example. Okay. All right, very good. Maybe food tasting. Food tasting, okay, if it's a, a food product, yeah, food tasting. Maybe to then launch um, the same product um, so often. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Maybe teacher use the technology to industrialize the process. Use the product to industrialize the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, yeah. we're going to move on to the next part, guys. I'm going to practice the conversation here. So Sonia and Oscar are listening about green tortricas and its, and its behavior in the market. The center instructor read the conversation, then take turns practicing with a partner. So I want your microphones off. We're gonna be practicing together, but with our microphones off so we don't distract anybody. Okay, so make sure microphones off, close your microphones, everybody. Make sure your microphones are off. Um, I couldn't. No. I can watch. Um, oh. uh, Sorry. I can I can watch the your screen. You can't see my screen. Yes. Please. I don't know if just I have the problem or. or can the rest of you guys see my screen? I can see your screen. Yes, I, uh, I, have, this yes, is I can see it. Okay, you know what you can do, Ana Maria, is um, leave and come back in. Oh. Yeah, 
try try doing that and maybe that will help. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So everybody close your microphones. Close the microphones. Okay. All right. So here we go. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did. I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the market strategy, sorry, of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas would succeed. With a little luck, I guess I was wrong. Okay, now uh, please uh, write in the chat if you do not understand in a word from this conversation. So there's a word here that you're not familiar with. Is that it? Let me guess. Is that it? Okay. All right, declined means to go down. So instead of going up in the sales, it goes down, okay? So the sales have declined, they have gone down, okay? Succeed, succeed is to uh, be successful. Yay, you know, going up, you know, be, having a big sale, that's success, to succeed, right? So to achieve your goals, let's succeed. Then we have guess, I guess. I guess means it's like, I suppose, I, uh, I believe, right? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, any other words? No. No? Okay, uh, what about the vocabulary? Sorry, sorry the pronunciation. Any, any problems with the pronunciation? Word and marketing. I thought you can put it. You can put it in the chat. So, if there's any words that you don't know the pronunciation, you can put it in the chat. Good. 
Yes, I was wrong. Yeah, I got it. Anything else? Uh, Anything else? No? Nothing more? Okay, all right. So the first word we pronounce it strategy. Strategy. Next is thought. 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 The last one is succeed 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 okay all right so now that we know the pronunciation of the words we know what they mean let's um let's practice the conversation so i'm going to put you in pairs practice being oscar once and sonia the other time oops and we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be practicing this conversation. And then you're going to be doing these activities. First, discuss the answers to the questions based on the information from the conversation. Here are the questions. First question, in what, in what stage of, the, of its life cycle is green tortricus at, at the moment? And in what stage of the green tortricus life cycle did Sonia invest a lot of effort? Two questions. And then you're going to complete the statements with the words from the conversation. Okay, so we understand what we have to do. Is it all clear? Oh, sorry. Right. Sorry, guys, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I'm, <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, um, sorry, I was gonna, I was asking you, do you guys understand what you have to be doing? Yes, it's clear. Yes, we understand. Yes, it's clear. Just practice the conversation and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just practice the conversation, the questions and complete the sentences. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Oh, I see. No see you. Practice the conversation, and after that, uh, we have to answer the, the question, right? Yes, that's right. 
Es trabajando en the manual. And this is exercise. But I don't find. I... You are looking for the the Where conversation. I... No. I say the screenshot. Ah, uh, um, okay. I take the screenshot. I, I found the page is is on uh, is for page 14. Page 14, okay. Yes. Let's see. 14. Ah, okay. Okay. You are Oscar. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Uh, okay. did you hear? The sales of the green tortillas have declined. I did. I and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortillas would succeed succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Now me. You are going to be Oscar. Oscar and I'm going to be Sonia. Okay. Did you hear the sales of the green tortilla how declined? I did and I can't believe it. Uh, we work many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I told green tortillas green tortillas would would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okay. And no. now we have to answer the questions based on the information from the conversation. Uh, first, in what stage e of its life cycle is green tortillas at the moment? Green tortillas. Uh, the life cycle? Life cycle. ¿En qué ciclo de vida? ¿En qué? Ajá, ¿en qué? Uh -huh. ¿En qué? Uy. ¿Y dónde está el ciclo? No, ahí no está eso, estaba bien. Es de acuerdo, yo creo, de acuerdo a lo que hemos venido haciendo. Ajá, porque quiero ver. Dice, we work many hours to introduce to the market. Yo creo que es sobre la imagen que está arriba, de marketing strategy. No, no va, no es eso. O no sé si es en esta que hicimos de la otra, de maturity, grow, decline, mm -hmm. mar market introduction. I think it is. I think it's about that. Um, without round uh, appeal. Ah, appealing maybe is. Appealing. Uh, after. We decide that we work in the to introduce to the market. We put a lot of effort in the design. And I told the point which is with a little work. With a little work. That's it. I reckon you have to be some I want to see. Let's 
missing. There is a a decline is a fall fall or descent and in the product life cycle the decline stage represents similar behavior for products the decline stage in the product life cycle is when a product dissolves as a result Ah, sí, también esa la, la hicimos. Yes. Okay. Because okay. I was trying to to make the 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 homework, but I didn't. I okay. couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And number one, entonces sería I was started or the least cycle a uh, green at tortricas and the moment is uh sería have a clean le dice green tortica have a clean o oh. el párrafo think... de Oscar ajá uh -huh. did you have this edition or the green tortica I have the clean uh, I think oh to the market no Yes, it yeah. termina el tiempo. Okay, all right, guys, let's check our answers. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So did the okay, so what it, in what stage of, of its life cycle is the green tortricas at the moment? The, it is decline. Decline? Decline. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's in the declining stage. Mm -hmm. And what stage of the twin tortillas life cycle did so Sonia invest a lot of effort? Marketing introduction. Yeah, in the introduction stage. Very good. The introduction stage. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, let's complete the sentence. Statement. We worked many, 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 many hours. Many hours, many hours, many hours to the market. Good. Many hours to introduce it to the market. Number two, you put a lot, a lot of, of, a lot of, a lot of support. The design of the marketing strategy. <laughs> A lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought the product would succeed with a little luck. A little luck. Yeah. Good. Okay. Excellent. <coughs> so if you uh, if you notice these, what do we call these words? Do you know what what these words are? Quantifiers. Quantifiers. Exactly. And that's actually. <laughs> Quantifiers. They're quantifiers. Exactly. And that's exactly what we're going to be learning in the next part. Before we finish off, let's talk about quantifiers here. Quantifiers, we have two types of quantifiers, or better said, so not two types, but uh, quantifiers that go with two different types of words, let's say. Okay. And the first type of words that we use are um, quantifiers with non-count nouns. Do you guys remember what are non-count nouns? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yeah, what are non-count nouns? Uh-huh. Water. Uh-huh. Yes. 
But in general, what are non count nouns? Mm. Nouns that we can't count. <laughs> exactly. It's simple as that. Nouns that we cannot count. So it's impossible to say one, two, three, four, five. Exactly. For example, um, can we count? Um, okay, can we count water? The ocean. Um, we can. No. no. We can't say yeah. one water, two water, no. waters, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, oceans, can we count oceans? No. no. Yes, we can count oceans. We can say one ocean, two oceans, three oceans, we can count them. Oh, yes. okay. Okay, so that oh. we can <laughs> But the actual oh. water, we can. Okay. can we count money? Yes. Yes. Can we say one money, two monies, three yes. monies, four monies? Dollar. Oh, no. 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 Exactly. Al menos que sean chicos que se llaman money, ¿verdad? Then we can say one money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but de lo contrario, no. Okay? We can't we can't count money. Okay. So we have we just say one we can't say one money. We have just to say money. Okay, so it's non-count. We can count coins, we can count bills, we can count dollars. But we can't count money. The word money is not countable. Okay. Okay. Now, there's also expressions with count nouns. What are count nouns? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. For um, all the nouns that where it's possible to count, we can put a number to them. We can say one, two, three, four, five. For example, can we count? Um, I don't know. Uh, books. Books. Price. Books. Okay. Can we count books? Yes. We can. We, can yes. we count books? Yes, we can. Right. So we can say one book, two books, three books. Yes. Okay. Um, can we count um, uh, literature? It's Sura. Can we count literature? No. No. So we can count books, but we can't count literature. Okay. All right. Uh, what about um, sugar? Can we count sugar? No. No, right? We can't say one sugar. No. no. Okay. Or a cup of sugar. Say a cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. We can say a teaspoon of sugar and things like that. Yes, but a pound of sugar too. Okay. Okay. Now, um, can we count? Um, can we count uh, beans? Yes, we can. Yes, we can count it. Okay, we can no. count individual grains of beans, but beans as a whole we don't count. Okay, we don't say, "Mom, give me ten beans." Right? Spanish. Ustedes nunca le dicen a su mamá, mamá, quiero 10 frijoles. Right? No. Los que están a dieta, sí. ¿Cómo fue? Los que están a dieta, sí. Ah, bueno. Okay. But, but, uh, so, there are certain things we can count and others that don't make sense, right? Okay, so, um, in that case, what you will notice is that we have separate um, countable nouns for, for different things. So we can use, for non-count nouns, we use a lot, sorry, a little, a lot of, some, much, a great deal of, plenty of, and no. For count nouns, the ones we can count, we use a lot, sorry, a few, a lot of, some, many, plenty, or no. So you will notice that some of these are repeated. Okay, so that means that we can use this, uh, we can use it for count nouns and non-count nouns. For example, a lot of, or some, okay, or um, uh, no, or plenty of, okay. So those ones we can use with both, 
but words like a little, much, and a great of are exclusive of noun counts. And a, a few, many are exclusive of hours. Sorry, I'm sorry, of, um, non, of count nouns. Okay, for example, time. We can't count time, so we can say a little time, a lot of time, some time, much time, a great deal of time, plenty of time, no time. Uh, with hours, because we can count them, we can say a few hours, a lot of hours, some hours, many hours, plenty of hours, no hours. Okay, now what's the difference between, um, so basically a little and a few are the same. It's in the same category, like it means you know, the quantity is small, but just that a little is used for non-count and a few is used for count nouns, okay? Much and many are also in the same category. They're talking about um, how, uh, the, amount, the quantity, but just that much is for non-count and many is for count nouns, okay? All right, and a great deal means it's big, okay? And I gave you some examples here. Okay, so we have Mary drank a little water, a little water. Water is not count, so we just say a little. We don't say a few water, we say a little water. Try to have some patience. Here it doesn't matter the word some because patience, uh, well, some word, the word some you can use with count, count nouns and non-count nouns. Rick has much experience. Uh, experience, uh, the word experience is actually, um, a non-count noun, that's why we have to use the word much. There's no other possibility for this one, okay? And uh, few, also we only use the word few um, because, or a few, um, because um, friends is countable. We have, uh, we bought many things. Uh, the word many is, their only possibility is the word many because things is countable. Okay. Here we have a lot of, it doesn't really matter in this case because the word, because a lot of can be used for count nouns or uncountables. Oops. Okay. And uh, the same thing with some, it doesn't matter uh, because if, if it's water or something else, because we can use it for both of them. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. So basically all you have to do is memorize which ones go with non counts that are exclusive of non counts. It's a lot of some, Sorry, exclusive is a little, much, a great deal of. So those are like the exclusive ones. So you, the ones that you really, really have to remember, right? Okay, so try to remember those, right? Um, try to remember a little, much, a great deal of. Um, and try to remember a, a few and many, okay? Got it? Got it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop. Got it. Um, that's it, that's where their time is over. So let me take quickly the attendance so we can go off and rest. Ani? Present teacher. Good. Um, Ana Maria? Present teacher. Carolina? Carolina? Emily? Present teacher. Hazel. Present. Good. Hazel. Hazel. Joanna. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Nina. Present. Carla. Present teacher. Santiago. Santiago. Here teacher. Okay. Eh, Linda. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Marlene. Present. Miguel. Miguel. Nelson. Present. Uh, uh, Norma. Present teacher. 
Um, Olga? Olga? Rocio? Rocio? Uh, Present. Present. Okay, Beatriz? Present. Suleima Rodriguez? Suleima Rodriguez? Present. Good. Tatiana? Present. Okay, uh, Tatiana, yes, okay. I'm um, Nelson A. Nelson A. Omar. Teacher. Omar. Uh, Suleima Melgar. Suleima Melgar. And uh, Jose Rodrigo. Wonderful. Okay, guys, so that will be it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, hoy me quedo con Emily. Okay, that's it. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Emily. <laughs> No sabe salir. Ok. Eh, vamos a poner. Ok. Ok. Emily, hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Hello. Bien, gracias. Qué bien. Qué gusto poder tener este momentito para conocerla. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo? Un gusto conocerla hoy, el día de hoy. Gracias, igualmente. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo has sentido la clase? ¿Cómo se, um, se está acoplando? Cuénteme. Pues yo siento que ve bastante bien. Okay. Lo único que como no sé mucho acerca de marketing, a veces me cuesta un poquito con, con el nuevo vocabulario, pero sí, claro. vamos tratando de... Ir buscando significados, también pronunciación para, para tener una mejor idea de, de qué es lo que se está hablando. Excelente. Ok, muy bien. Sí, es, de eso se trata. Eso es precisamente lo que se trata, ¿verdad? Um, de, um, de ir a, aprendiendo nuevo vocabulario. Um, como usted quizás ya se ha dado cuenta. Bueno, no sé, si ¿ese es su, su primer módulo? O de con Sport o el primer módulo con Sport. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, entonces sí. Right. Entonces usted va a ir notando que a medida que uh, va pasando los módulos, se va, va a ir notando que vamos entrando a eh, vocabulario específico de, para diferentes um, áreas, ¿verdad? Entonces usted va a ver áreas que jamás había visto en su vida. Va a decir, wow, ¿y esto qué es, verdad? O sea, entonces, um, eh, pero es bonito por eso, porque vamos aprendiendo un poco de todo, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea. Sí, ¿verdad? sí correcto, porque siempre pasa, ¿verdad? Que, que de repente lo ponen a hablar a uno, por ejemplo, cuando uno va a las entrevistas y hay alguna palabra que como casi no se utiliza, no se sabe cómo, cómo decir o cómo explicar. Entonces, sí es bueno que vayamos aprendiendo de áreas que... No tenemos mucho que ver, por decirlo así. Claro, exactamente. Esa es la idea. Precisamente, ¿verdad? Que vamos a ir aprendiendo un poquito de todo. De hecho, le, les, les digo, yo he aprendido bastante um, dando estos, estos modelos de, de INSAFOR porque, um, sí, como son, es vocabulario muy especializado para ciertas áreas que a veces nunca, uno nunca utiliza, ¿verdad? Eh, pero que en algún momento puede ser que lo necesite. ¿Verdad? Entonces nos está capacitando para, para el futuro, la verdad de todo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, sí. Um, así que lo único que necesitamos hacer es ir um, repasando el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué tal cómo le va con la plataforma? Cuénteme. Solo he hecho la primera tarea hasta ahorita. Ok. Pero, eh, bueno, yo le pregunté acerca de, de qué íbamos a hacer con el segundo video, ¿verdad? Que gracias que me explicó porque realmente no, no sabía cómo, cómo lo íbamos a utilizar, pero ya me queda claro que, 
hay que ir como esperando para ver los videos de las clases y así poder sí. también responder en, de mejor forma. Exacto, o sea, sí, lo ideal es que pueda um, esperar, ¿verdad? Para, para entenderlo mejor, pero si usted um, se siente que lo puede hacer por su propia cuenta, no hay ningún inconveniente, puede hacerlo, ¿verdad? Eh, pero claro, a veces necesitamos un poquito de la explicación, entonces en este caso solo espera un poquito, ¿verdad? Y se puede adelantar con los que usted um, siente que, que maneja mejor, ¿verdad? Que no, no le da tanto problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, sí, poco a poco, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea. Uh -huh. Sí, correcto. Eh, ¿Alguna preguntita? Algo que, que no esté muy claro. Um, ¿cómo se sen Primeramente, ¿cómo se ha sentido con, con el curso, con el módulo? con el tipo de, bueno, la metodología, ¿cómo, cómo se ha sentido? En, eh, ¿Cómo se ha acoplado, ha acoplado con la clase? Cuénteme. Sí, yo siento que hasta el momento en los grupos que me ha tocado, pues los compañeros han, han estado como en la disposición, ¿verdad? De, de, de colaborar. Y a mí me parece bien. Hacerlo así, hacerlo en, en pequeño grupo, porque a veces no da pena todavía hablar como enfrente de todos, por decirlo así. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, eh, yendo a, en pequeños grupos es más fácil de que podamos participar también y, y si se puede, pues ayudar también a los compañeros. Ok, excelente. Le, le, le ha parecido bien entonces, ¿verdad? Um, el poder hacer, eh, sí, trabajar en, en, en los breakout rooms. Ok, excelente. Um, sí, de, de, es que de eso se trata, ¿verdad? Que um, de hecho para eh, tener mejor práctica, porque uh, pues siendo sinceros, um, no podemos ver o escuchar y practicar todos juntos en, el mismo, en, en la misma sala, ¿verdad? Porque nos llevaría mucho tiempo para empezar. Y segundo, que pues, Um, a veces se dificultan los ejercicios para escuchar a todo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es haciéndolo más, con, con um, grupos más pequeños, más reducidos, se hace mucho más. ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la idea. Y les da menos, menos pena, ¿verdad? Por eso es de que, de hecho, usted quizá ya ha notado, ¿verdad? Que yo, de hecho, entro, pero estoy a veces calladita, ¿verdad? No, um, y es simplemente porque no quiero... Uh, no, no quiero, digamos, um, ¿cuál es la palabra? No los quiero ahuyentar. <ríe> Podemos decirlo así, sí. ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, um, mi idea es precisamente que quiero que, um, de que ustedes eh, vayan, se vayan sintiendo cómodos. Perdiendo el miedo. Perdiendo el miedo, ¿verdad? Y entonces, y, uh, y así, pues, um, si de, ya tienen después una pregunta, pues con gusto yo le, yo le respondo. O a veces usted pues, ya ha visto que yo me meto, ¿verdad? Y digo, les corrijo algo, o les digo que, con qué no que necesitan, etcétera, ¿verdad? Pero mi idea es eso, que ustedes se sientan libres para poder hablar y todo. ¿verdad? Sí. sí, muy bien. Eh, ¿Hay alguna cosa que usted sienta que la que yo le pueda ayudar? Ahorita no siento que todo está bien. Ok. okay. Entonces, entonces uh, no hay inconvenientes, no hay dudas. No. ¿No? Todo está bien. ¿Todo está bien? Oh. Bueno. Eh, bueno, en este caso, entonces, uh, bueno, si no hay nada más, nada más entonces... Eh, podemos dejarlo así, ¿verdad? Y si al final del de módulo se quiere hacer alguna preguntita, eh, ten, puede tener disponible el, el, la última semana de, para que usted pueda decir, teacher, yo quiero um, quedarme a hacer algunas preguntitas y yo con gusto le ayudo. ¿Ok? De acuerdo, muchas gracias. Ah, ya sabe, un gusto. Ah, pues cuídese mucho entonces y nos veremos mañana. Gracias igualmente. Feliz noche. Gracias igualmente.